What's going on guys? Vapor Rhino over here coming right back at you. Today I have another e-juice review. Again, another one sent to me by Mark the Simple Vapor. Nerdy. This is called Lemon Bard. And uh, what this is is uh, exactly what it says. It's, you know, lemon bars. So it's supposed to be like a thick kind of like a, you know, a lemon bar pie or something like that. Or like a key lime pie, but it's with lemon. So it's, it's you know, it's that condensed like custard, not like a really fluffy uh, light custard. So this is more of a condensed custard. So, um, and I'm not sure, and I'm, and I'm going to feel really bad if I say something wrong. I don't think that he, I think he liked this, but I don't think he was going nuts over it, you know. But he knows I love lemon, and he knows I love the one, and he told me straight up, he goes, it's, he doesn't think it was as good as the one. Uh, and if I'm wrong, I apologize in advance. But uh, he says, you give it a try. He goes, I know you love lemon. So he, he sent me a fucking pretty full bottle. So he couldn't have fucking loved it that much unless he had another one, you know. But that doesn't mean anything because everybody's taste buds and everybody's opinions are different. So what he likes, I may not like, or I may like, and what I like, he may not like, and so on and so forth, and whatever, and everybody's fucking happy, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, so, I have a layer cake over here, freshly whipped, right there. Okay, so we're going to try that. That's going to be on my creator mod. I'm going to start juicing those coils up. And uh, what I'm going to do is, in the meantime, I have my uh, wasp nano right over here, okay, that I just... Got a coil in, I cleaned it up, burned it out, and I am going to put some fresh wick in there. So, uh, fucking smells good. Smells really, really good. Nice and lemony. Um, I'm not getting a lot of creaminess out of here, out of the smell either. I just smell a lot of fucking lemon, which is okay with me because I just fucking love lemon. I love lemon, I love lime, I love a lot of citrus fruit. Smells, ooh, I'm getting some cake right now. I've got like a little, like, that graham cracker crust kind of flavor. And that's what I just got right now out of that smell. So let's keep adding a little bit of juice. Ooh, it smells excellent. It smells excellent. So let's let that sit a little bit. And um, while I'll with this, I just want to let you guys know that there is going to be a live show coming up. We have, uh, we've been planning this now for a while. We did a test run. I've been mentioning it in my uh, latest videos, so you guys should know about this. And hopefully that uh, you guys can make it, and because uh, it's going to be really fun. We talk about just everything that has to do with vaping. You know, you guys have questions or something like that. Uh, if we could answer them, we'll answer them. I'm trying to get a couple of uh, other reviewer buddies of mine to hopefully to come on as a guest. Uh, I don't know if they're going to make it, so I don't want to say anything. Uh, I do have also some uh, some nice plans for uh, Christmas giveaways, so mm -hmm. trying to put that together. I don't know if my uh, my uh, vape lot is going to be coming in, so it's it all really depends on that. So there it is, nice, nice, nice little mustache, huh? Huh? Look at that, huh? Huh? Look at that, Sabado Dolly. Hold on a second. Hold on, let's just twirl these babies up. It's got that guy out there because he don't belong over there. All right, let's do a little Salvador Dali right here. How do you like that, huh? See, you gotta have a little fucking humor. Anyways, so let's, bam, let's cut that bitch off. Let's cut that bitch off. All right, just make sure it's nice and even on both sides. I'm not really big on fluffy fluff. If you see me doing it, I do it for you guys. Uh, uh, the important thing is that you use good, clean uh, cotton, and just you know, if it's nice and straight already, there is no reason for you to fluffy, fluffy, fluff. But if that's what you like to do, and you see it on YouTube, then you go ahead and do it. No fucking problem. You know what I'm saying? So, got that baby nice and wicked. Let's give it a little pulse. Let's see, a little pulsey pulse. Pulsey pulse. Let's get those sides. Let's throw that right. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. I love it when you pulse it. It sucks the juice right in, and it just wicks that coil really, really good. Also, it prepares. It kind of takes a, 
a little bit because you're always going to get that first couple of hits you're going to get like kind of a cotton smell it's new cotton it's you know, you know if you want to avoid that and you want to spend some time just get yourself a little bottle of uh of um pg right over here you hit it with a couple of drops of that and pulse it with that that helps you know take the cotton away it's not going to disturb your juice uh, uh, by any means because it's just flavorless you know what i'm saying so now where the fuck is the cap right there so we got that juiced up let's let that sit and marinate okay so we're gonna go with the layer cake first this layer cake is from district 5 i have it on 70 watts the build on this is a 0.11 i don't know if you can guys can catch that i'll hold it up for a little bit right there boom layer cake create a mod right there all right guys let's take a little bait this is lemon bard and i am sorry that i did not give you a full description on this i will go through the whole fucking ramble on here so it is by huh, who the fuck is it by lemon bard out you just oh nerdy what the fuck is wrong with me anyways let's take a little vape and then we'll discuss the bottle and the labeling and all that Great bait production. I'll give that an 8 out of 10. So, my first impression. On the inhale, boom, full of fucking lemon. On the exhale, the lemon just fucking disappears. Huh, that's weird. So I am getting like a kind of like condensed custard, you know, flavor, but very faint. I mean, I would be lying if I say, oh, it's a custard and creamy. It's not. It's just lemon on the inhale, but on the exhale, the lemon just almost like disappears. It fades away. It just lasts for that split second. It's like, you know, just very weird. That's that. So let's just give you a couple more juice over here. Let's let that sit and marinate. And let's talk about the bottle. So now, as far as the bottle goes, labeling, really nice and clean. Really nice and clean. You know, the Gorilla bottle, this is, I believe, it looks like a 100 milligram bottle. Okay. It's got the UPC symbol on here. Warning. Again, it's not blocked out in white. As you can see, it's in here, but it is pretty big. The word, actual warning words, the, the warning is pretty big. And the rest of the words, you know... I guess with a fucking magnifying glass, you know, you can read it. I mean, I cannot read it even with my glasses on here. It tells you use with caution. Then it gives you a list of ingredients, which I cannot read. And then it's blocked out on the bottom. And it says, you know, 21 plus 18 with a little fucking slash going over it. You know, and that's about it. If you guys can see that on the bottom, that's it right there. So uh, as far as warning label on this one, I would have to give it like maybe a 6 out of 10. It's not really, really doesn't stand out it's not super legible i mean you would have to definitely get some kind of fucking some kind of magnifying glass to read this it does say it's a 100 milligram bottle does not have a production date on here which i've been actually noticing that on some juices you know uh see if you look at the bottle of this see that Lydia? that gives you a production date of when it was made and uh how old the juice is and that is the one but um you know, none of, the, none of these guys have production dates on them. You know, now, what I did see uh, lately is I just saw it right on one of these guys, I believe. Maybe it was this other one. Let's see. No, I don't know where. Ah, right here. So, there's another one he sent also. So, now there is I have these QR scans, and you can scan them, and it tells you... And it, it just tells you right over here, it says, scan for lab results. I haven't tried it yet, but I will try it because if that gives you a lot of information, you know what, that's another good way. Because if you could do it on your phone, it's way more legible than trying to read it off of this fucking bottle with this goddamn microscopic fucking writing. You know what I'm saying? So, moving on. I have it on my Tesla, uh, the WYE 85 watt. My Wasp Banana is sitting on there. We're vaping it at 43 and a half watts. With a 0.18 build. Mm -hmm. 
Interesting. Out of this wasp banana, the lemon is definitely predominant. I am getting that kind of like lemon bar flavor, like that condensed, like kind of custard flavor out of this. Um, unfortunately, though, I smelled the fucking graham cracker crust, but I'm not tasting it. The lemon is also on the inhale and on the exhale on the wasp and on. See, you guys can't fucking beat these fucking little guys. And I'm surprised because the layer cake, it's a very low build, very condensed uh, chamber in here. That coil is right there. And uh, usually when you have an RDA like that, you're getting that flavor right off hand. And it's just, um, it's not happening right now. Oh, that was a nice shot. Yes, on this art, on this particular RDA, I should say, I'm getting the nice, rich lemon flavor on the uh, inhale and on the exhale. Everything just dissipates; it like just disappears. The wasp banana wins this fucking battle. This is a fucking killer little fucking guy, man. I would love to see how it would taste on that fucking. I gotta try this. I, I gotta. So I have it on my knocker, and this is a 0.61 build at 32.7 watts. Amazing. Lemon is definitely more predominant on inhale and exhale. Excellent, excellent lemon flavor. Um, it doesn't last long. I'm not getting the crumb out of this. I'm not getting the really, uh, uh, you know, thick, rich custard out of this, that condensed custard out of this. I'm just not getting that. If I had to compare it to the one, it's not going to make it. The one still fucking rules for me as far as lemon tart uh, e-juice flavor. This is good. I would not rush and run and buy out another bottle. I will definitely vape all of this, but... I'd rather spend my money on the fucking one. That's a, this is still top for me. Excellent vape though. Well, guys, that concludes the video for this session over here. This is the Vape and Miner. Please subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying these videos. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And also in the description, I'll have uh, the links to all my buddies' uh, uh, channels. Please go check them out. Support them. Show the love. This is the Vapors. We all together. We're a family over here. I'll catch you on my next review.